Carolyn Holzman, and this is Confessions of an SEO. The purpose behind this podcast is to bring SEOs together with the businesses that they serve to experience a more reasonable balance of power. Let's begin. Welcome to Season 3, Episode 23 of Confessions of an SEO. Since we last spoke, the Indexation Research Project had a birthday. Now we're in year three, and I made a prediction based on the data I saw, and well, I was off a few days, but it did happen. Google uh, called the August core update, try saying that 10 times fast. Uh, They called it that it's complete today. Now, I thought it was going to be closer to Wednesday or Thursday this week, so eh, it's technically off. Those that like to take pity on me tried to console me with the idea that likely the person who had to update the site might have had some other things to do before they could do that. So thanks, Marie. I'll take it. So now what? I think everyone is tired of experiencing volatility practically the entire summer to then only at the end of the summer to be told by Google, no, wait, there's more. And I also want to have a note to myself, you know, when you start testing something new, Carolyn, maybe refrain from doing it during an update or even the testing at the end of the update. So what did I mean by that? Well, I decided that I was going to go back to testing the Google indexing API. For listeners that are not SEOs, that's a way to basically use an entry way to get new content into Google where people can find it by its keywords. And it's different from the general way that Google documentation tells us how to request that. A little background, the indexation research started back in 2021 when the way Google told us officially how to get new content into Google's index wasn't working. In fact, If you did it the way they told you to do it, it was the way to send content or a place to send content that if you just wanted it to die, it would die in a cold, dark, unindexed place. So the indexing API was our workaround in February through December uh, 2022. So when uh, around December 5th, the bot behavior changed and suddenly It wasn't that easy using the API to get new content into Google, which led me back to testing the search console, which now, while previously it's where you sent content to die, it was actually how to get content indexing and serving. Slight wrinkle, because that worked super well if you had what was called a uh, mobile bot designated site. Now, that's nothing that that we self-determine, right? Google assigns that to a site when it's registered in Search Console. Some are mobile and some are desktop. And as you can guess, the desktop designated sites uh, were the ones that were having trouble. And it appears that this past spring, that wrinkle appeared to be ironed out. Then I noticed something in April, reinforced by something that I heard at a conference and You know, now is when I usually pull my quote of Al Pacino and Godfather, just when you're out, they pull you back in. Well, bang, it tested and it brought the indexation rates up in the high 90s. This is the thing that I heard at a conference I started doing and whoa, um, indexation rates went up even higher. You know, sometimes Google will have a brain fart um, and it's not necessarily during an update, but in, in general, I would overall rates definitely improved. And then around early summer, completely by accident, I stumbled across something that I can only call as potential evidence of helpful content data. Now, I do want to back up a little bit. Um, last August, August 2022, Google said they were going to do this, quote, new thing, And it's called Helpful Content. And there's going to be this classifier that runs around and occasionally we'll update it. But essentially, we're just going to tell you it's called New Content, Helpful Content. Well, um, like I say, I, I think I stumbled onto something. And 
No, it wasn't anything related to the talk about user experience. EAT, that's short for uh, expertise, authority, uh, and trust, uh, or anything that passes as a conversation on helpful content. But what I found is measurable. And it provides an explanation for some of what we've been seeing. Now, I bet you're thinking, I'm going to spill my guts on what I saw. Huh? But I'm only going to do that to my forensic training group. Now, I really am looking for data that contradicts mine. And I know that sounds weird, right? In our industry, people espousing ideas from their heads or what happened after they did a thousand things and got an improvement is often confused with actual data, actual field data on one aspect. And I get it. I will tell you that so far, everything that folks have brought to me in terms of field evidence has only reinforced my assessment on what I've been seeing. Now, this is good. Well, let me just say this way. I did a rant in a marketing group uh, just now, not an SEO one, but one that focuses on improving results. Too much of what we're told SEO is or isn't is complete BS or worse, right? Just regurgitating what we can read for ourselves in the Google development developer documents. You know, I'm just thinking like, why do I have to sit here and listen to you with your big name and hear absolute pablum about how to rank in Google? What do I hear? Write good content. Write good content so people will want to link to you. Helpful content is all about user intent and experience. So if you write more for your user, then you'll rank better. Where is original thought based on what is actually going on. I'll, I will continue. I, I explained it to a friend of mine this week. All this bullshit about just write good content that people will like and they will link to your content. It comes from sites and people who have armies of other people who just repeat what they said and they write about it and they link to it. But the content isn't doing the heavy lifting. It's the legion of people they have at their beck and call, <laughs> at their elbows, just waiting for them to repeat back what we can all read in Google Docs. <laughs> Sorry, I had to laugh when I say that. You know, but they're, they're really just paraphrasing their content, sharing it, linking it, clicking to the page because they got an email along with another 800,000 people on that email list. You know, it's like the old joke. He woke up on third base with a spoon, silver spoon in his mouth and thought he'd hit a triple. So I think it's actually good when we actually know what helpful content is. Because if my observations hold, it is hilariously obvious. It's not all this mystery. You know, I'm in marketing, but I will tell you, I kind of hate marketing tactics. You know, just tell it to me straight. It's like the opposite of Owen Wilson in Armageddon, who says, you know, uh, just tell me it's the scariest environment imaginable. I want you to tell me it's 200 degrees in the sunlight, minus 200 in the shade, canyons of razor sharp rock, unpredictable gravitational conditions, unexpected eruptions. That I can work with. Well, that's it for this week. Rant over. Uh, check out crawl and no crawl reports for new findings in the ongoing indexation research while you can. The indexer is coming along and I've narrowed down a list of potential names, but I want to call it. Now, dare I get a poll going on that? I mean, if you think I should, send me a message, confessions at AmericanWayMedia.com or go on Facebook and leave a message for American Way Media there on Facebook. Thank you to the supporters of Confessions. Thank you for being a listener. Please come back. Bring a friend. And if you like this type of SEO content and stories, please consider becoming a monthly sponsor. You can do it for as little as 10 bucks. It's been my pleasure to be with you today, and I'll see you in the SERPs. Thank you.